Thank you very much. It's great to have the Prime Minister of Malaysia and his very distinguished delegation with us today. Uh, we're talking about trade, very large trade deals. We're uh, working on one deal where between 10 and $20 billion worth of Boeing jets are going to be purchased. Uh, General Electric engines will be purchased, and many other things. Also, Malaysia is a massive investor in the United States in the form of stocks and bonds and the stock exchange. And they have to be very happy because we're hitting new highs on almost a weekly basis. And uh, so we're very proud of our stock market, what's happened since I became President. So I congratulate you on those investments. Uh, but I just want to say it's an honor to have you here. It's an honor to have your delegation with us. Uh, I believe you'll be at the United Nations next week. And a lot of folks are going to be at the United Nations next week. It should be an exciting week. And we look very much forward to that. But I want to thank you very much for all of the investment you've made in the United States. Also, the Prime Minister has a major role in uh, not allowing ISIS, or as you say, Daesh, uh, and others to exist. And he's been very, very strong on terrorism in Malaysia and a great supporter from that standpoint. So that's a very important thing to the United States. Uh, does not do business with North Korea any longer. And uh, we find that to be very important. We had a vote yesterday on sanctions. We think it's just another very small step. Uh, not a big deal. Rex and I were just discussing. Not, not big, I don't know, but has any impact. But certainly, it, it was nice to get a 15 to nothing vote. But uh, those sanctions are nothing compared to what ultimately will have to happen. So thank you, everyone, for being here. We appreciate it. Mr. Prime Minister, it's a great honor to have you in the United States and in the White House. And thank you, everyone, for being here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Would you like to say something? Thank you very much. Uh uh, Mr. President, for your invitation for me and members of my delegation uh, to meet with you at the White House. Uh, I want to say that uh, we, are, we come here with uh, a strong value proposition to put on the table. Uh, number one, we want to help you um, in terms of strengthening the U.S. economy. Uh, they are, I come with three specific proposals. Number one, uh, we intend to increase the number of uh, Boeing planes to be purchased by MAS. We are committed to 25 planes of the 737 uh, MAX 10 right. plus eight uh, 787 Dreamliners. And uh, there is a strong uh, probability, not possibility, probability that we will add 24, 25 more uh, 737 MAX 10 in the near future. Thank so you. within five years, the deal will be worth uh, beyond $10 billion. Uh, that's one. Uh, we will also try to persuade uh, Air Asia uh, to purchase GE engines. Correct. Uh, secondly, we have a, a Employee Provident Fund, which is uh, a major pension fund in Malaysia. Uh, they've got uh, quite uh, a big sum of capital to be exported. Uh, they have invested close to $7 billion in terms of equity in the United States, and they intend to invest three to four additional billion dollars uh, to support your infrastructure uh, redevelopment uh, in the United States. Right. And thirdly, our sovereign fund, Kazana, they have an office in Silicon Valley. They have uh, uh, invested about $400 million in terms of uh, uh, high-tech companies, and they intend to increase that investment as well. Uh, secondly, the other um, goal of your administration, Mr. President, uh, which is to make the uh, United States safe, uh, and with that, the world safe, we are committed uh, to fight uh, Daesh, IS, Al-Qaeda, uh, Abu Sayyaf, you name it. Uh, they are the enemy of the United States. They are also the enemy of Malaysia. And we will do our part to make sure that our part of the world is safe. Uh, we will also contribute in terms of the ideological warfare.
because you need to win the hearts and minds. And the key to it is to support uh, moderate and progressive Muslim regimes and governments around the world because that is the true face of Islam, that is the authentic face of Islam. The more you align with progressive and moderate regime, uh, the better it would be in terms of winning the hearts and minds of the Muslim world. Right. So, Mr. President, thank you once again. The um, uh, United States has always been our partner for a long, long time. And uh, this year is our 60th anniversary of our relationship. And I hope that today's meeting will make it even stronger in the years to come. Thank, well, you. thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.